What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Juggernaut outfit in GTA 5 online. Uh, this glitch is very easy to do and does not take that much money to make. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And subscribe for more GTA 5 glitches from me. But without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So guys, to uh, start off with, you just want to go ahead and go over to the options and then go to online and then go down to swap character. Once you load into this screen right here guys, you just want to go ahead and create a female character in character slot 2 and it has to be slot 2 otherwise this glitch will not work. I get so many people uh, saying that it won't work and then when I ask if their female was in slot 2 they say no and then yeah that's why it's not working guys so just make sure that it is a female character in the character slot 2. And then you just want to go ahead and copy the rank as this was all, will also give you all the money. And it also means you can just buy most of the clothes anyway. But yeah, like I said, just create a female character in character slot 2. So you just want to go ahead, name her, and then take the picture. And then you just want to go ahead and load into a GTA 5 online session. So I will see you guys once this is loaded. Okay guys, so you just want to go ahead and drive to the nearest clothing store once you have loaded in. If there aren't any clothing stores showing up on the map, you still won't be able to go inside of them. So to fix that, you just want to go ahead and start up a new GTA 5 session. And it will only take a couple of minutes to load. But once you get here, you just want to go over to the tops. And then you want to go down to biker cuts. And then scroll down to the patched darted vest. So it's number 50 on the list guys, I need to clear my throat, <coughs> sorry about that, but yeah it's number 50 on the list, you just want to go ahead and buy that, and then go ahead and go down to gun running t-shirts, oh no, sorry guys that is the top t-shirts, my bad, I was looking at the uh, wrong list here, and then you just want to go ahead and go down to the white roll T. So it's number five. And then once you have gone ahead and put those two on, you just want to go ahead and go over to the pants, go to jeans, and then go ahead and go down to number 10, which is the navy low crotch jeans. And make sure they are not the faded low crotch jeans, just the normal navy ones. And then you want to go ahead and go over to accessories. Go down to uh, no, they're not here. I don't think. I don't. So hats aren't actually there, guys. Sorry about that. They're over here. And you just want to go ahead and go to canvas hats, and then go ahead and put the grey plaid canvas hat on, which is number seventy-eight. And you just want to go ahead and save this outfit. So I'm just going to save it as juggernaut. Make sure that you don't have any other um, outfits saved before you do this. You can do a few at once, but just make sure there aren't any before this. And then, yeah, we will go ahead and continue on with this glitch. Okay guys, so once you get to Crater, you just want to go ahead and create a point-to-point -point land race, which is at least one mile long. And then you just want to go ahead and test it. So I will speed this process up for you guys just so you know that this glitch is legit. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and create this. 
and I will see you guys once I have tested it. Okay guys, so once you have tested the race, you just want to go ahead and click OK on this alert screen. Then you just want to go ahead, go over to online and go down to choose character. You may see that I'm in a different place right now than I was a second ago. That is because my, well, I didn't, it wasn't my game. I accidentally clicked OK on this screen again and went into the female character, which meant I had to redo that last step. But once you guys have done that, you just want to go ahead and go over to the female character just to make sure that they it is on the female character you just want to go ahead and keep switching between the two until it properly focuses onto the female character and just go ahead and type in delete to delete her and then once this loads into this bit again you just want to go ahead and press circle to back out into GTA 5 so I will see you guys once this has loaded Okay guys, so once you load into story mode, just go ahead, go over to online, go down to play GTA 5 online and start up an invite only session. So once again, I will see you guys once this has loaded. Okay guys, so when you load back into GTA 5 online, you'll actually see that you can't put on any of the outfits. So to fix that, we are just going to go ahead and save our last outfits. Uh, this is just so you don't lose all your outfits because you do actually lose them but you can save the last one you were wearing but once you guys have gone ahead and done that you just want to go ahead and click options go over to online go to jobs play jobs rockstar created versus and start up crooked cop So once you guys load in, you just want to go ahead and change the clothing to player owned. And then you just want to go ahead and invite a friend or just auto invite. So I'll see you guys once someone has joined. So as you can see guys, people have just joined. And once they do, you just want to go ahead and click launch session. And then once it loads, you guys just want to go ahead and go down to owned outfits and scroll along to the juggernaut outfit we have just made. And then you just want to go ahead and ready up and wait for the job to start. So once it starts guys, you just want to go ahead and go into the interaction menu, go to style, accessories and put on any earpiece and then just want to go ahead and quit from your phone. If you don't know how to do that, just go onto your phone, click X straight away, then click square and then click X and you will go ahead and quit. And then when you load in, you will actually spawn right near a gun store. So what you want to do is just go ahead, run over to that gun store go to the outfits and then save the outfit or if, if for some reason it spawns you somewhere else just go ahead and go to the nearest clothing store and just save your outfit in there but as you can see guys I just go ahead and save mine here I just overwrite the old save that I had and then as you can see you can now actually switch between outfits which I actually didn't actually save my other outfit for some reason but as you can see I just go ahead and buy a new one I don't really know why I was looking through these a whole load but I do just pick a bodysuit and then I go ahead and save that in a new slot 
And now, like I said guys, you can actually go ahead and switch the outfits. So that was how to get the Juggernaut outfit in GTA 5 online. If you want to see more glitches from me, then please subscribe. But I will see you guys in the next video.